guys welcome back to my channel i am just leaving work i um had my prenatal visit today um i'm doing the bi-weekly visits i have i think two more of those one or two more of those before i go weekly um but I wanted to give a bump update. This would be a 31, 32 week bump update. Um, well, 32, 33 week bump update. I'm sorry. Got to keep track of the dates. One second. Got to take that call. Hi, guys. So that was my husband that called yesterday. <laughs> and then on the ride to um, pick up the kids and get in the house and get settled and get Mason over to basketball practice yeah mom life anyway so I'm back uh, <laughs> from yesterday's pregnancy update so I just wanted to just kind of go over the symptoms and what I've been experiencing and um, I think I'm starting to feel like that get that nesting feeling where you just want to get stuff in order. I have Kamara getting ready to leave off for school, so I just feel like so many big things are happening at once that I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. But um, for the most part, right now, my symptoms are a lot of uh, pressure. And um, the baby's head down. I went to my, I went to my appointment yesterday. Um, the baby's head down. She is measuring still two weeks ahead um and i've been out of breath of course waking up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom eight thousand times um but sometimes i'll just wake up and can't go back to sleep um so i don't know if that's just the normal pregnancy insomnia or whatever but for the most part those are my symptoms for right now um i have been having headaches a lot I've been trying to drink more water. I've been trying to um, take my iron pills to help with the fatigue. But I don't think anything's really gonna help with the fatigue other than sleep. But um, other than that, everything's pretty much the same. Just, I'm not really gaining any more weight either, which is, I'm not complaining. But um, when I've been going to my checkups, it's been like 0.5 pounds or no, nothing at all. I gained so much in the beginning, so I guess, I just gained it in the beginning this time um, and all the other pregnancies I just gained it at the end uh, either way I'm fine with it because um, that helps me to feel more motivated to get back in shape after I have the baby um, but other than that that's pretty much it um, I'm starting to I'm still doing bi-weekly appointments um, and what else is there I think that's really about it um i think we're gonna do a baby shower on labor day weekend um so that we can um just get everything done i'm gonna be getting induced on september the 9th so if she doesn't come before then we'll try to do a little like a barbecue baby shower thing on september first yeah September the 1st um, sorry guys then my camera battery just died sorry about that um, but yeah so I think we're gonna do the baby shower on the first um, and it's gonna just be something quick something small but I just figure since Camille's gonna be the last baby we should try to do something um, just something to celebrate her and then we might do like a little sip and see in the middle of September to invite the family over um, because that's Cameron's actual birthday and we'll be able to celebrate her birthday with family and friends and then they can take that time to see the baby but they'll still be bringing in gifts for Cameron so she won't feel like new baby's coming in taking on my shine <laughs> but other than that the pregnancy is going well I can't complain like I said she's head down so I'm feeling a lot of pressure so I'm a little nervous because, you know, when Marquette working on the road, um, I get so nervous about 
going in labor or sorry that's the train going by i get so nervous about going in labor and he's not here and he has to drive down from georgia or from wherever he's at he's in georgia right now working on a job um but it, it just that's one of my biggest fears um the only child i had to go into the hospital with without him um was mason and it wasn't for long he was just at work he was working nights at the time and i you know i went just went happened to go into labor in the middle of the night i had to take an ambulance to um to the hospital but other than that he's pretty much there and my kids kind of have the same rhythm so i'm hoping that everybody just sticks with the same rhythm and everything goes as planned but other than that pregnancy is going well i'm feeling well um i've been having a little bit of issues with blood pressure and like I said, I mentioned the headaches, but no preeclampsia or anything like that. Nothing that the doctors are concerned about as far as preeclampsia goes. Um, but they just want to monitor me um, to make sure that I'm on point with, you know, certain things. So, but other than that, everything's good. I'm grateful and I'm just really excited. I'm starting to get more excited now um, because it's literally like weeks now that she's coming, like, it's like, I think me and Mason did a calendar the other day. I think it was like 45, 47, 48, I don't know, something like that. Mid-40s days left. And he, you know, I was like, that sounds much better than saying weeks, mommy. And I was like, you're absolutely right. So, that's about all we're doing. We're just um, counting down and getting ready, getting ready for Kamara to go off to school. And then the next big event is going to be baby Camille. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next video.